still haven't tried the Locklicious All Natural Hair Care product line? Well, let's hear what the Lock community has to say about it. I love how how it sprays and how it feels, you guys. Like it feels so good. And it smells amazing, you guys. The Lock and Twist moisturizer was really good for me. The hydration mist was phenomenal. This is bomb, baby. I was really impressed, kind of blown away. And I think that if you're struggling, definitely go check them out. And check out the five-star reviews on our website. So, what are you waiting for? Go to locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. Hello, my beautiful people. How you doing? My name is Olivia Nantongo. I'm a wellness and nutrition therapist. And today we're going to talk about stress, okay? So what is stress? Stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. It can come from an event or through that thing that makes you feel frustrated, right? Angry, nervous. Um, stress, though, is your body's reaction to a challenge or demand in short bursts, okay? In a short burst, stress can be positive, you know? It's like uh, such as when it helps you avoid danger or meet a deadline you into it you're doing it you're doing it so is all stress bad stress isn't necessarily a bad thing it's what helped our hunter gathering ancestors survive and it's just as important in today's world also it can be healthy when it helps you avoid an accident for example meet a tight deadline or keep your wits about you amid chaos you know we all feel stressed at times but one person finds uh stressful may be very different from what another person finds stressful right so an example of this would be uh public speaking some love the thrill of it and others become paralyzed at the very same thought so you see it varies now stress isn't always a bad thing as i said but stress should be temporarily really once you've passed the fight of flight as it says once you've passed the flight the fight or flight moment your heart rate and breathing should slow down and your muscles should relax so in a short time your body should return to its natural state without any lasting uh, negative effects okay so it should really be time limited on the other hand on a severe frequent or prolonged stress can be mentally and physically harmful and it's fairly uh common actually when asked 80 percent of americans reported they'd had at least one symptom of stress in the past months 20 percent reported being uh, under extreme stress so life being what it is today it's not possible to eliminate stress completely we have to be uh, honest about that but we can learn to avoid it when possible and manage it when it's unavoidable okay so remember avoid when possible and manage when it's unavoidable now physical symptoms of stress of course include aches and pains chest pain uh or feeling like your heart is racing exhaustion or trouble sleeping headaches uh you can one can experience dizziness or shaking hypertension muscle tension or or jaw clenching okay stomach and digestive problems trouble having sex so you see stress can affect you in many many various ways now what does stress do to your body besides what i've mentioned it can suppress your immune system and this is serious it can su suppress your immune system upset your digestive and reproductive systems increase the risk of heart attack and stroke and of course speed up aging 
It can speed up the aging process. We don't want that. It can even rewire the brain, leaving you more vulnerable to anxiety, depression, and other mental problems. Okay? So try to avoid stress whenever you can. Because obviously, as you hear, it's not good for us. Now, though we've said, or I said, and it said that some stress is good for you and drives you to take action, like looking for a job when you've been fired. Too much stress, though, can suppress your immune system. And when your immune system is suppressed, what, else, what happens? You get sick easily. Now, prolonged periods of stress can also increase your risk of uh, several diseases, including heart diseases and cancer. Yes. Uh, I, I personally like the good stress, okay? The good stress, the type that... Uh, makes you feel excited about something your pulse thickens and your hormones surge but there is no uh, threat of fear that's i like the kind of stress now you might feel this type of stress but when you ride a roller coaster compete in a game or go on a fight date that's the kind of stress you want to feel okay and then we have emotional stress heaviness in your chest, increased heart rate or chest pain, uh, your shoulders are feeling heavy on you, your neck and back are aching, uh, the general body pain or aches, you know, the uncomfortableness of it, headaches, grinding of the teeth. Some people grind their teeth uh, due to stress, clenching of the jaws and of course, shortness of breath and dizziness. Now, there are simple ways to relieve stress and anxiety. And my go-to is exercise. Exercise is one of the most important things you can do to combat stress. Okay? And it gives instant relief, actually. Consider supplements. Some supplements uh, actually promote stress and anxiety reduction. Light a candle. Do some breathing technique. Reduce your caffeine intake. Write down things you have to do so you don't have to stress through the moments, okay? Some people like chewing gum. I don't. I don't know how that helps. Some people seem to think it helps. What works for you works for you. Speed time uh, by spending time with friends, okay? Love. Have fun. Now, what does stress uh, do to a woman's body? Long-term tension can lead to a headache, migraines, and of course, general body headache, uh, aches and pains. But, you know, typically in women, and of course in men too, it can lead to depression and anxiety. Like in the past years, women were almost twice as likely as men to have symptoms of uh, depression. This is something that is becoming more and more common in our societies. Uh, now, there are Two types of stress, okay? Two types of stress, like I said. And the main type is acute stress and chronic stress. These describe the difference between the little stresses that we've experienced on a daily basis and the more severe stress that can build up, okay? when you are exposed to a stressful situation over a longer period of time, okay? So, again, guys, self-care here is very important because the worst thing that you can introduce to your body is the bad stress. It's been actually indicated when they take a blood test at that time, it's toxic, toxic blood now bad stress occurs when too much stress builds up around us once the body feels there is too much stress it will begin to break down causing symptoms like uh perspiration anxiety headaches and of course rapid breathing this kind of stress can take a huge toll on your physical and mental well-being this is the toxic kind of type it has been proved scientifically okay once they draw your blood during an extremely stressful situation, is full of toxins. Now, what do doctors uh, prescribe for stress? 
of course, antidepressants. Mostly widely prescribed for anxieties are, for example, the Prozac, Zoloft, uh, Paxil, uh, Selexa, Selexa, whatever they call it, Selexa. These have been used to treat generalized anxiety disorder, uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorder, social anxiety disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. So those are the main medications that you can get from your doctor. Uh, these are not over-the-counter medications, so you need to see your doctor. Uh, how can you relax your mind and body? This is my favorite part. Take it slow. Take slow, deep breath. Try your breathing exercise on a regular basis. This relax you. Soak in a warm bath with nice, calm music, candles, you know. Listening to so, uh, soothing music can really be very helpful. Practice mindful meditation. Write down your schedules. Communication. Communication. Now, stress relief uh, to practice during your night routine. Because people, some people get really heavily stressed during that moment too. Make a good sleep environment. Consider evaluating your sleep environment for possible stressors. Like take away the TV from your bedroom, replace it with uh, music, you know, limit alcohol and caffeine. Uh, take a warm shower before going to bed or a bath. Avoid blue light. Apparently blue light exposure before bedtime causes stress. <laughs> Practice good sleep hygiene. Have a journal. Follow your journal in what you put there. And schedule worry-free time. That's my favorite. My absolute favorite time is scheduled worry-free time where I just relax. I let go of everything and I just go into the uh, Olivia session where I just care for me. And whatever I feel for in the moment, uh, guys, um, exposing your body to stress can really create severe uh, illnesses. This is a condition that should be taken serious. Um, if you're having a stressful situation, know when to walk away. Know when to walk away. Okay. So thank you for listening. Once again, my name is Olivia Nantongo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course share. And I'll see you next time. Remember, you are blessed and take care of your health. Health is wealth, okay? Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.